Hey sightseers, as you can see, I got the crew with me, all three dogs, which is probably going to be a bit of a challenge because I've never done this before, gone out with them and filmed all by myself. But I wanted to bring you out here today mainly because I wanted to talk to you about how I keep little Miss Mabel warm when we're out doing our winter hiking or snowshoeing as today is the case and also what I've been doing to keep myself warm as we've been hitting temps, you know, between right now in the teens all the way up into the 30s. Today I'm not really sure the thermometer was setting 52. I know it's not no 52 out here, but maybe that's what it feels like here in the sun as the sun's beating down on you. So today I'm dressed a little bit lighter than maybe I would be on a day when sun's not shining or it's a little bit windier because today it is pretty still pretty calm out here i might even be able to get the drone up later i don't know we'll see but as it is we're gonna go snowshoe down a ways and then i'll get into what what type of cold weather gear i've been wearing and what kind of gear i put on mabel to keep her warm let's see you in a bit Getting a little bit winded. Hey, it's a bit of a hike when you've got a probably 10 to 15 pound pack on you. Well, Mabel weighs roughly six pounds, but the rest of the gear that's stowed in the backpack plus the backpack itself. And then of course you got Mocha pulling me along and the snow is, well, we got about nine inches the other day. And I know I'm in an old snowmobile track, so that's packed down somewhat but it is a bit hard going out here as my nose is running here. Pardon me as I fix that. But I wanted to stop real quick and besides taking a breather, talk a little bit about Mabel. Mabel is, if you didn't know this, Chiweenie. So she's part Chihuahua, ch part Dachshund or Wiener Dog. And because of that, I have to be very careful when I take her out in the winter as far as keeping her warm because, of course, Chihuahuas came from the area in Mexico called Chihuahua and they are bred for hotter climates. And so they have a tendency to get cold easily in winter, especially up here in the north woods of Wisconsin. And because of that, I make sure I bundle her up besides my little secret, which I'll share with you at some point in the video, for keeping her warm. And so this next clip I'm going to show you is how I bundled her up. Because yes, I put clothing on my chihuahua, chihuini. getting my exercise on today. All right, so I dropped off Mocha and Ty. They're in the house now, warming their tootsies up, and Mabel's still with me. Say hi, Mabel. She's still cozy and warm in her little nest that I've got going on for her. And as soon as we get over to the spot that I wanna hang out at, I'll let you in on my little secret because I know some of you, that's the only reason why you tuned into this video. So I'm not going to drag it out until the end and make you wait to find out my little secret for keeping Mabel warm. I'll share that with you here in the next, in the next clip once we get over there. Okay? I think we're far enough down that right over here, we're going to venture into the woods a bit and get out of the breeze it's kind of the wind's picking up out here a little bit and i don't want mabel to get cold as i'm sitting around yapping so we're just gonna go in over there well we made it 
that's one of the benefits of living up where we do. We have access to the lake and when it's frozen over in winter, that gives me easy access to some county woods, county property with a really nice uh, tree wooded area to explore and snowshoe in, which I had debated on whether or not I do the video here or get in the vehicle and drive a ways to another area up here in the North Woods. But today I thought, you know what, I'm just going to stick around closer, closer to home and film. So I'm blabbering on. I know what you really want to know is the secret to keeping Mabel warm. And I think the best way is I'll pull her off my backpack and I'll give you a little peek and then I'll share with you the clips that I shot at home pre-hike so you could see exactly how I set it up. So, Mabel, you ready to say hi to everybody? unzip a little so you can see. I don't want to take her apart because I don't want her to get cold. But if you look in here, you can see she's got this fleece blanket around her inside. And then inside, and I'm not going to pull out what I got in there. I'll just pull out extras that I brought along. Oh wait, that's my snack. That's not not what I'm looking for. That's on this side. I know, I'm taking, taking too long for some of you. It's these. The secret to keeping Mabel warm inside her backpack are these. The little packets that people put in their boots or their gloves. I stick several of these in between her blankets inside the backpack and that'll help keep her warm. I'm telling you these are the best thing to keeping your chihuahua, your chihuini, or any other little tiny dog that you want to bring hiking out in the winter. It's the best way to keep them warm. So I'll show you the clips so that you can see exactly how I set it up. So you open it up and then gotta shake them, get it activated. And once it starts feeling like I got heat going, then I'll take it and just tuck it in under here in her blanket. So that'll help retain heat and keep her nice and warm inside the backpack. And because I'm not sure how cold she's going to be. I'm going to stick two in right away. And then I always bring a couple extra along just in case I need to add a couple. I'll know if she's cold if she starts shivering. I can feel it through the backpack. And that's, of course, in addition to all the clothing I've put on her to keep her warm. You have to judge on your dog. Um, she's shivering a bit, so I think I'm going to add one more of these in to make sure that she's snuggy, snuggy warm. But that's all you got to do is make sure they're dressed up warm and then wrapped in the blanket inside the carrier and then you tuck these in for the added heat and it keeps them toasty warm. So that's my secret. And it's not a secret anymore. Otherwise you can do as Marty says and that's just leave the damn dog home. That's an exact quote from him. It's not something I'd say. Well, that's Marty. But you know what? I ain't listening to Marty. Mabel loves to come with me, so I'm doing what I have to do to make sure she's comfortable and can come with me. Just saying. Oh, there we go. When I got a 
single one here so I don't have to open up a double. Up. Fix your hat. He always messes with your hat. And then your little ears get cold. Yeah. I shake it up good, make sure it activates because sometimes you get these and they don't activate real well. So they're supposed to last upwards of six to eight hours. Some of them last that long, some of them don't. But you just want to make sure you have have enough with you so that if your dog does start getting chilly like Mabel is that you can tuck a few more in with them. I found this is the best way though to keep that body heat in there with her so she stays warm and comfortable and then it allows her to come along because she loves to hang out with me and loves to be with me so this one I think I'm going to tuck in my jacket here and then I just make sure the blankets wrapped around her nice so that it keeps the heat in and of course she's got a hat whether or not you put a hat on your dog is your prerogative but I like making sure that she's toasty, toasty in there. And I'm gonna put her back on my back because she prefers to be there. Cause that's the other thing. She might be shaking cause she's scared. Cause you know, chihuahuas or chihuahuas cause they got the chihuahua in them have a tendency to shake even when they're not cold. Although, supposedly most of the time when they shake, they're supposedly cold, but she shakes when she gets excited and when she's scared and when she's cold. But yeah, that's the secret. That's the secret you were waiting for. All right, sightseers, after I got back and started editing this video, I realized it would be best if I split it up into two parts. So if you're wondering where part two is, don't worry, it's coming. And I'll have it linked for you in the description box below for easy access. Be sure to check it out. It covers the type of clothing I've been wearing when going out on my winter hikes and my snowshoeing adventures. Special thanks goes out to all our fellow sightseers here on Patreon and PayPal. Without you, these videos wouldn't be possible. Well, that was fun while it lasted. <laughs> <laughs>